Salam, peace, man. What's good with you? All right, peace, everyone. Peace, 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 peace. What's good? All right, what's going on, everyone? Let me see if I can get this right. Uh, I take it that's right. I'm not even sure. Officer Hernandez. What's up? Jamal Rogers. All right, peace, everyone. I'm starting a few minutes, but uh, I'm trying to find this thing I want to tell you. Check out. One, two, all right, so listen, I'm only coming on for a few minutes because um, I, um, I'm listening to this interview tonight at uh, 9 o'clock with Soleil and uh, Hip Hop uh, uh, on Brother James and Brother Miles' station. Hold on for a second. Let me make sure I get that information correct. All right. October 20th, listen live, all right, uh, Hip Hop for Justice, all right, so they'll be on at 9 o'clock, dealing with the Global Hip Hop, on the Global Hip Hop Network, um, the phone number is 319-527-2019, that's 319-527-2019, she'll be on at 9 o'clock, so uh, for, this, for this hour right here, I was going to uh, get and do the show that I wanted to do because I can't be on at nine. All right. So hopefully people are getting the notifications. Hopefully. All right. All right. As soon as this song is over, we're going to dive into this subject, all right? I'm talking about whatever this guy's name is, uh, Bashir, who is the, um, um, who is the trainer of, of Habazan, Habazan, Ivana Habazan, boxer, all right? And, um, 
something went down at the weigh-in. This was like I think several weeks ago, and um, yeah, it's just bothering my spirit, man. So let's talk about it. The name of the song that y'all listening to is uh, it's called War Cry. It's a song I did on my God Damn It album, uh, Seventh Octave, my band. Uh, it was a song that I wrote um, as Hurricane Katrina was going down. All right. So we're going to dive into the subject. I just said to myself, I came up here to, uh, I came up here to do a song. And I said, okay, why not spend a few minutes just kind of getting off your mind, off your chest, and dialoguing with the people about what went down at the way in So let me see. Her trainer is Bash is Bashir, I believe his name is. Alright. I've watched several things concerning this and um yeah. Hold on. Alright, hold up. So let me bring it back to that. Let me bring it right here. Alright, so let's give the backstory. So the backstory is this. So Clarissa Shields, y'all should know Clarissa Shields, um, a two-time Olympic uh, gold medal champion female in the female boxing. Uh, I believe her weight class at that time at that time was 160, I believe. And um, yeah. So um, now uh, I'm gonna call out a few of these people and a few of these companies. Uh, I don't know them. I ain't got no like real beef with them, but I do. I do take issue with how they present certain news and always trying to paint uh, certain people as the villain. You understand what I'm saying? So now, um, so Clarissa Shields uh, from Flint, undefeated, was on her way to obtaining another belt from uh, Ivana Habasin, H-A-B-A-Z-I-N. Now, you know, fighters like to talk smack back and forth, that kind of thing. And sometimes it's for the hype. Sometimes it's for um, sell more tickets, you know, beat the fight up. So, but sometimes people go overboard and it's serious. Um, I think the last few times, especially a lot of these um, white fighters trying to dethrone a sister from the hood. All right. Um, and race does play an issue in it. Um, I wouldn't even have this conversation if I thought everything was just everything, but the twist and the spin on it, uh, you'll hear, you'll hear in a minute. So I take issue with people coming on two seconds after the thing happened with this half cocked ass news that they come with. And that now becomes the narrative and the story. So I kept hearing, because uh, um, I saw the way in, I kept hearing uh, that Bashir, who is um, Ivana Habison's uh, trainer, got sucker punched. And I'm like, got sucker punched? So I don't jump to any conclusions. A lot of times when I hear a story on the news, um, if I feel it, it's worthy for me to talk about, then I'll do some research and then talk about it. I don't talk about it, then do the research. And I think that's where fighthype.com. Who's this clown? Um, oh, what is this dude's name, man? Uh 
this other dude. I said I was going to remember his name, but I can't. I used to respect this dude, man. He has a decent, he has a decent, um, he has a decent channel. He, he reports on boxing and boxing fights and, uh, what is this dude's name, man? I lost all kind of respect for this dude. I'll find his name in a minute, man. But, um, it is just ridiculous. Uh, and and I, I sit back sometimes and I say to myself, what kind of news are these people watching? Because I'm seeing what happened. And then to hear their news reports, like, that's not what happened. So let me, let me, let me uh, let y'all know what my discrepancy is. Discrepancy is with fighthype.com and the rest of these clowns that report the news before even doing any kind of research. Two minutes after the thing happened, they were saying Bashir got sucker punched. How does anyone know if he got sucker punched when no one saw it? It wasn't online yet. Matter of fact, still ain't online. So how did anyone know he got sucker punched? And then the second part of the story I'm hearing is it somebody it's, it's automatically somebody in Clarissa Shields' camp. Third part of the story is why would anyone want to hit a hit a 71 year old man? So let me can I deal with those three things real quick? Let me just say this here. Shout out to everyone that came to the lecture at Madhu Bookstore. Shout out to Nia from Madhu Bookstore. I really appreciate that. All the hospitality. Um, give thanks and shout out to everyone that, that came. Really appreciate it. All right. Thanks to um to my squad for the support. Really appreciate y'all for watching the brothers back. All right. Shout out to Adjective X. All right. But anyway, back to the story. Clarissa Shields has a gay, lesbian, dyke sister who Clarissa says, says she's a dyke. I'm not sure if that's the term, uh, proper terminology. But um, who the trainer of Ivana uh, Halberson was like really getting at man. When you when I say getting at, I mean like, right, man. Yeah, like really getting at like, whoo. I mean, like I'm I, not in a long time have I ever heard the language that this seventy one year old man was using to a woman who claimed to be part of, who is part of, not claim, but who's part of the LBGTQ community. And I'm not defending her or defending him. I'm just telling you guys what happened. The language that this gentleman used, I mean, he was going in. I'll beat your mother. If you want to act like a man, I'll treat you like a man. Pounding his fist and putting his hands in her face. And go, going through the whole gyrations, man. I'm like, wow, bro. I'm like, chill with that. Chill. He went on and on and on. Now, listen. I'm not saying he didn't have a right to be upset. He had every right to be upset at what was going on. Clarissa Shields had a lot of people on the stage. And the, the, the trainer, by right, had... Uh, has a right to see how much Clarissa Shields was weighing in at. And I guess he was trying to make his way through the people to look at what the numbers were and argument ensued. All right. And he just went off. All right. Now I'm saying to you, if you're going to claim that no one should sucker punch or hit a 71 year old man, a 71 year old man needs to act like a 71 year old man. If you want to act like an older instead of an elder to get the level of respect that an elder should receive and get, then act like an elder. If you want to act like an older and get elder treatment, it's not going to happen. If you want to act like an older thug in the community and you want to talk smack and keep running your mouth and threatening people, whatever happens to you happens to you. You talked your way into that damn knockout. Plain and simple. Now, Bashir, I hope you're listening to this. My name is Professor Griffin. My phone number is 
557-2919. Call me. Talk to me. I'm saying to you personally, though, man to man, bro, you cannot go to someone's hood. And if you don't know the code, you, you're going to learn the code right now. You do not go to someone else's hood. Talking the smack that you were talking, threatening people the way you were threatening people, and, and no one's going to see you? No, bro, that's not the code. That's not the code. I don't care if you're in, in ballet, in boxing, b-ball, badminton. I can name a few B, other B sports. So, yeah. No. It's, it just doesn't work. Now, for you assholes out there, like on Fight Hype and some of these other um, some of these other YouTube channels reporting the news, uh, telling people what happened before you investigate. All right. Everybody said, well, it's bad for business. It's bad for boxing. Let me tell y'all something, man, especially you fight hype people. Whoever the clown is on there. There's been so many brawls I've witnessed over the last 50 years, 50 some odd years I've been on this planet. There have been literally brawls at the way in. Mike Tyson had a straight up brawl at the way in. I've seen people get knocked out. I've seen people get dragged. I've seen people get, yeah, all kind of stuff, man. And when you physically see somebody put their hands on somebody, then you can blame the fighter. In this case, you cannot blame Clarissa Shields. She wasn't there. She don't know what happened. You don't know what happened. I don't know where you get this garbage from that she has something to do with it. She had absolutely nothing to do with it. All right? Now, if you got some personal issues with Clarissa Shields, you might want to take that up with the camp. All right? But to say it had to be her camp when you didn't even know what happened, you dead ass wrong, man. And you cannot, you and nobody else, especially you, Bashir, you can't go to somebody's hood talking like that, man, threatening people and somebody not going to see you. Because trust me, trust me, when I was competing, all right, in martial arts, if you came to our hood talking like that and threatening somebody, my family member or whatever, you might have got sucker punched, stabbed, shot, or a few other damn things. Yeah, you just out of bounds, bro. You have to learn some damn respect, man. You're supposed to be a professional. You're supposed to be a trainer. All right? You got invested time, energy, and money invested in your fighter fighting Carissa Shields. You're supposed to come on come on, on that stage at the weigh-in with a professional acrimon, a professional behavior, professional attitude. All right? And if you do see somebody out of line, you can tell the uh, the judges, the refs, and whoever responsible, hold on for a second. Let's clear the stage so we can do this properly. That's all. You can talk to the other trainer and say, you know, this is not the way we do things. Let's clear the stage so we can do this right. That's what you should have done as a 71-year-old elder trainer. All right? Now, Elohim, I don't know who you are, but that's exactly what the fuck he deserved to get knocked the fuck out. If you came to my hood talking that much smack that this dog, this dude was talking, threatening people. No, you not. You barely getting out of there alive. Nah, you just that's out of bounds, man. You don't do that. Nah, you don't do that. Hand, let me tell you something. Calm is a bitch. Calm is a bitch. You don't come talking that much smack. Plain and simple, man. Plain and simple. I don't agree with you either. So it is respect. I respect you. I don't agree with you. I know what it is, though. You understand what I'm saying? Plain and simple. And I haven't seen too many people get away with it. I don't know how old you are. Mr. L.E. Beats, whatever your name is. Been on this planet 59 years, man. I see a lot come and go. I see I seen dudes like that in and out of the, uh, the um in and out of sports, whether it's martial arts, boxing, or whatever, come talk that kind of stuff and get handled, man. I'm just saying to you, Bashir needed to act like a 71-year-old elder as opposed to running his mouth like he tough. 
because everybody ain't going to take that, man. You're not going to threaten my family and get away with it. Yeah, I, I, I tell y'all often, I got some crazy people in my family, man. Ain't nobody going to talk smack to Uncle Griff and everything be everything, especially out of way in. Nah, I don't go down like that. Nah, uh-uh. So, let me finish what I'm saying. Is it bad for boxing? Well, shit, they've always had brawls at weigh-ins. That's part of boxing. I love Terrence Bud Crawford. I seen Terrence Bud Crawford throw a right hook at Benavitez because Benavitez pushed him. I say straight up, man. Don't uh, don't put your hands on nobody until you get into the ring. Benavitez was dead ass wrong. That's why Benavitez got knocked the fuck out. Well, it happened in the ring, but I'm saying if Terrence Crawford would have caught him with that right hook, good for him. You don't put your hands on nobody like that. You don't put your hands on people like that, man. Plain and simple. There's been a whole bunch of brawls at weigh-ins. Respect people, man. The the sport of boxing don't have to be this um, everybody out for blood and wanting to kill people and trainers and all that kind of stuff. If everybody would show a level of respect. This is why I love Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua keeps it professional. Anthony Joshua is a gentleman. Anthony Joshua keeps it G. All right. It's still a business. It's still the business of sports and boxing. You understand? There's no, I mean, I've faced so many guys, man. I didn't hate them. When I was coming up um, competing, I didn't, I didn't hate them dudes. I showed them respect. I bowed in, gave him a level of respect. And even sometimes when they won a couple of rounds, I still humbled myself and bowed and um, submitted. You understand what I'm saying? Even some of the rounds that I lost, I still showed my opponent a level of respect. So, but, um, yeah, you talking to a brother 40 and all, I, I ain't never lost, so I, ain't, I wasn't taking no L's like that. I'm just saying to you, Nah, but at the end of the fight, I'm walking away with the trophy, but I still show my component, opponent, rather, um, a level of respect. I'm sorry. All the trash talk, I can see the trash talk from the uh from the from the uh the boxes, but trash talking from the trainers, nah, nah, nah. Um, uh, Mr. Elohim, I think you got a personal problem with women, bro. Um that's why we say, in, in as real men in the men's circles, you don't argue with no woman, bro. So I don't, I don't know if you're taking that class or not, bro. I don't know you, but you don't argue with no woman like that. Plain and simple. And if if Clarissa Shields' sister is gay, a lesbian, dyke, or whatever she is, and you know that, and you keep calling that out, and you say you're gonna beat her up and. Do all kind of stuff to us? Like, nah, bro, chill with that. You 71 years old. Pull back on that. And say, like, okay, you got that one. My fight is about to fight. I'm not going to mess this money up. Whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, act like you got some sense, man. There's a couple of times I rolled with my crew, and we weren't even about to compete. And my crew was like, yaddy, I'm like, yo, chill, 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 man. Not right now with that. Chill with that. For real. For real. Clarissa Shields says, no, nah, I'm the toughest one in my crew, and yeah, my crew ain't doing nothing. All my crew went back to the dressing room with me. So, yeah. So, nah. So, um, now, come to find out, it was Clarissa Shields' brother that knocked Bashir out. No one knew this, but they were reporting that it had to be somebody from her camp, man. Y'all some clowns, for real. Because how did y'all know that? And why y'all saying Clarissa Shields has something to do with it? Well, she actually had nothing to do with it. All right? So now, she messed up in the tune of $350,000 for that fight. More importantly, though, I think, uh, the whole debacle kind of messed up her chances to get that other belt because she was going to knock old girl out. I'm not a gambling man, but I'll put my last uh, uh, veggie patty on that, man. Let's go down to the Jamaican spot and tell them that veg next veggie patty's on me. But I'm saying, yeah, 
uh, Avada uh, Habison, you was about to get knocked the fuck out. All right? Just like Christina Hammer and the rest of them chicks talking that smack. Yeah, I'm riding straight up and down. I'm riding for uh, Clarissa Shields. All right? But I'm saying to you, man, Clarissa Shields' brother reminds me of some of my crew. You just not going to keep talking like that and threatening people and everything going to be everything. It's not going to be everything, bro. That's my point for this broadcast tonight. I love the sport of boxing. I think it's a very competitive sport in every weight division. I think it's a beautiful thing when boxers come and they show technique and discipline and training and that kind of thing. It's a beautiful thing. I really don't, the people around me that know that I like boxing know that I don't like the trash talking because that could lead to something else. I don't like all the other stuff that go along with boxing. All right. Um, yeah. So now. Um, so I think these people talking about she should get stripped. Clarissa Shields should get fined. Clar why should Clarissa Shields get anything? Clarissa Shields weren't there. She wasn't there. She had absolutely nothing to do with it. If it was her brother, then her brother needs to get that just do whatever's coming to her brother. That's like me saying I'm up at a spot. All right. I'm about to perform. And somebody's threatening my brother. Right? And then my sister come along. All right? And knock that dude or that chick into the middle of next week. And y'all gonna put that on me? Yeah, y'all ugly for that. Now, at the end of the day, I could talk to my sister and be like, yo, what's good? What's good? See, it's just how, how we roll. I've never been in a situation where I sat idly, idly by and watched people threaten members of my family and that kind of thing, and they get away with it. Yeah, we, I, yeah, we just not built that way, man. So I don't even know how y'all built, or how y'all work. Yeah, so yeah, no. I, so I would advise y'all that yeah, if you ever like in that kind of situation with I'm around, whatever, it's not, it's not healthy. It's really just not healthy at all. Like yeah, because first of all, I'm not gonna be arguing with you. Because I handle my stuff real stealth-like. Right, you're not going to see me coming or going. But I'm just saying, I can't say I can't say that about my crew. I came up with black belts. I came up with killers. I came up with these kind of cats that just, you know, you just can't do that. There's, there's rules to the street, man. You understand what I'm saying? And dude violated them. Yeah, plain and simple. Now, are we talking boxing rules or are we talking hood shit? So give me some feedback and y'all let me know how that work. Well, Derek Bailey, I don't know what you feel about AJ, but yeah, it's an impressive um, uh, record he has, though. Well, I don't know what manufactured, I don't know what that means, because if you look at the history, went to the Olympics and did all the other things that all the other boxes did, so how is that? How is one manufactured and one's not? I don't, I don't get you, man. I don't understand that, Derek Bailey. So listen, to the Derek Baileys of the world and the Elohim, well, beat whatever your name is. We don't. I mean, I love y'all, man. We we could disagree. Just because I got some raspy shit in my voice, that don't mean I'm coming at you. It's just that we disagree. I definitely don't agree with Derek Bailey about AJ mm -mm. manufactured. Like, what, like what does that mean? If you look at the man's history, he came up like any other boxer. So help me out. We're going we're gonna to separate hood shit from professional boxing. So which one y'all want to do? How y'all want to do it? Because we can go back through the history of professional boxing and weigh-ins and all the brawls that took place. All right? So, yeah. 
So you don't know who threw how many damn punches and whatever, whatever, whatever. Most cases with those kind of situations, both camps get pulled apart, brush it off, put an ice pack on the cheek, and the fight happens the next day. It's part of boxing. Part of boxing, man. You take it out on whoever in the ring, make it happen, shit. Nah, 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 Mr. Elohim beats. I'm not I'm not saying that. I explained to you already that Bashir had the right to go look at Clarissa Shields uh, numbers on the scale. That's his job. He had a he had invested interest because he had a fighter there fighting. You're supposed to make your way so you can see the numbers. I'm not saying he didn't have that right. He do have that right. All right. And whatever Clarissa Shields sister did. I'm saying to you, Bashir being an older man should have handled it different. All right. So you won't get knocked the fuck out. That's all. There's been a lot of situations I've been in outnumbered dudes bigger than us. They got weapons and all kinds of stuff. And I'm just like, yo, you got to know when to turn that on and off, man. Bro, I've been robbed at knife and gunpoint. That ain't the time for Professor Grant to be talking shit to nobody. At the other end of a gun? Nah, dude. I ain't got no death wish. Nah. Smart enough not to do that, man. And I'm just saying to you, if he went from professional boxing trainer Bashir to threatening a woman, not good. So if we're going to put blame, let's take the blame off of Clarissa Shields, because it's not her fault. And let's put it back on two adults. Three adults. Clarissa Shields' sister, Bashir, and Clarissa Shields' brother. Let's put it on them and not Clarissa Shields. Yo, if I had the money, I'd bail her brother out. Fuck, for real. Like, yo, come on. You part of my crew. Let's go. Because the Bashirs of the world, nah, stop that, dude. Stop all the lip service. It's not necessary and it's not going to get you nowhere, but knock the fuck out. Yeah, it's just not. Yeah. I, I Melanin Rich, now nah, guys, I get what you say. It, it, I, you know, I said I like Anthony Joshua because I was making a point. I didn't say I like Anthony Joshua because I think Anthony Joshua is the best boxer or whatever. I like Anthony Joshua all the way around because Anthony Joshua is a gentleman in and outside of the ring. And when it comes to professionalism, Anthony Joshua is the go-to boxer. Always polite, always nice, always professional. I've said that even when... Uh, um, even when he was going back and forth with uh, Deontay Wilder, I was telling my man, I was like, "Look, yo, Anthony, Wild I mean, uh, uh, Deontay Wilder, pardon me, needs to kind of handle that a little bit different if you really want to get that fight, dude. All the loud talking, rah 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 stuff. Sometimes that don't work. You got to use a different kind of strategy. You understand what I'm saying? And I think that rah 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 strategy don't work all the time. I love De uh, Deontay Wilder." A lot of times, because if you really look at it, a lot of the dark, dark, dark skinned fighters, male and female, they get played to the left, man. Terrence Bud Crawford, Deontay Wilder, Clarissa Shields. Come on, man. Sean, I don't, Maxim. Maximum, what was not street? I'm trying to read some of the comments, but what people saying so I can address them. All right, now, you guys that are making comments, do y'all understand the code of the street? Or am I, am I speaking above your pay grade? Help me out. Talk to me. 
talk to me. I would be considered an elder. I'm 59 years old. From, hold on for a second. Uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, brethren. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, family. Hold on. All right. All right. I was trying to read your comments. With codes vary via demographic. Yes. HT, HTV3. Yeah, they vary. They vary. Some codes, some codes are national. Some codes are universal codes. All right. So to answer your question, codes vary. One code that's national, one code that's international, one code that's global. You don't run your motherfucking mouth threatening people and somebody not going to see you. I don't know what code is that's in your book. I don't know how that works. It that yeah, you just got that's yeah, that's a violation. You don't do that. You really don't. I, yeah, I don't even I don't I don't even know how yeah, I don't even know how else to say that, man. I don't. Yeah. I just don't know how else to tell y'all, man. Now, if we're talking boxing, then both of the trainers and whoever was conducting the weigh-in should have cleared the stage. Um, I used to do security. You know, I had a dozen men under me. And I used to say, listen, certain, certain times in certain events, yo, this area right here needs to be cleared out. Excuse me, family, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, this whole area right here, we need to move everybody this way. You don't, you don't corral people like they animals. You don't talk down to them. You don't. There's a way you go about doing it, and we just usher people along and move them into another section because we got to clear this area. And even if somebody was a little drunk or whatever and start talking, it's like okay, you just kind of bring that down a little. Yeah, and we talk it out, walk them this way. We good. They get special treatment. Not good special treatment, not bad special treatment, but you got to handle that drunk dude a different kind of way because he's drunk. Now, I'm saying to you, Bashir is a 71-year-old man. So come on now. You got to act like it, bro. We, we're looking at you. We're following your lead. So if my sons are now looking at Bashir, that's the way you handle that situation? No, it's not the way you handle that, bro. No, it's not. You don't handle people that way. Her sister was there helping her out. All her crew is all women. I'm not sure how many gay, dykes, lesbians. I don't care. They are who they are. I'm just saying. But is that the way you talk to them? Regardless of what their persuasion is? I, I don't talk to gay and lesbian homosexuals like that. Do you? I treat people like they're human beings. You tell you tell me, did you hear the words that was coming from this man? Wait, first of all, raise your hand if you actually saw the way in and what happened. Okay, Sean, are you just talking or you like what you doing? Sean Maximum, is that your name? Mixed man, are you just talking? Do you did you see what happened? Or are you just talking? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to answer some of these, but some of the stuff doesn't even make sense. 
Sean Mixman. If her brother hit that old man, he needs to be locked up. He could have killed regardless of what the man said. No, it doesn't work that way. You don't know the code then. Yeah. You're not qualified to have this conversation. Nah. <laughs> no, you don't know the code. <laughs> Go back and watch what Bashir was saying. Uh, you really need to go back and watch what the brother's saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, he was talking like cash shit, like, like damn, bro. Still going on Showtime. Uh, right. I'm watching it right now. So the second time. Hold on for a second. Showtime. Let me get to let me get to this. James Ali Bashir makes statement after. Yeah, bro. I don't, yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to follow you because I do want to have this dialogue. Bashir did almost die. He had to be okay. And so fucking what? And he should have thought about that shit while he was running his mouth and threatening people. Yeah, I don't I don't feel sorry for dude. Not. Nah. Hold on for a second. Let me turn the light on. Yeah, you get no empathy. You get no sympathy. You not getting nothing from me. Nah, bro. If he would have conducted himself like a 71-year-old boxing trainer on a professional level, that, what happened to him, would have never happened because it wasn't warranted. I could almost go back and count how many threats this man threatened the sister with. Then I could go and show you how many times he done balled his fist up and put it in the face of Clarissa Shields uh, in the news conferences. That's not the way you conduct yourself, bro. Yeah. Nah, bro. Yeah, I'm watching it right now. I don't even see it. It's like, dude, like, like, it's really unnecessary for you to be talking to people like that, huh? Okay. But let me add, I'm already, I already guess I already asked y'all. Y'all already weighing in, so I ain't got to ask y'all. Derek Bailey, I'm saying whoever's responsible for the way in. All right. Oh, gift DJ X1 and KPOO. What's up with you, bro? Akbar, how you feel, man? What's that? You feel sorry for Clarissa Shields' brother. Okay, I mean, it is what it is, bro. Shit, we... Bro, man. I don't know what side of town y'all was born and raised on, man. I, yeah, I, yeah. Bro, it is what it is, man. It just, it's, it is what it is, man. Plain and simple. There's a whole lot of times I, I would have been, um, 
with, you know, bracelets on or, or handcuffed or arrested or whatever, if we weren't smart enough. But yeah, man, I'm just telling y'all straight up. I don't know what kind of men y'all are. Regardless of whether my sister's homosexual, dyke, lesbian, or whatever, you, know, you grown ass man, you not threatening my sister. Nah. You just you just not, bro. Plain and simple. That's what it boils down to. So whether it's boxing or tennis or whatever it is, you're not threatening my sister like that and getting away with it. Uh -uh. We're gonna see you, man. We're gonna see you plain and simple. Yep. There's times in high school when do Obviously, a couple of people we knew, sister, cousin, niece, was yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, bro, yo, get your sister, man. <laughs> you tell her to chill with that. Get your sister. We tell the dude, get your sister. Right? That's how you do things. Am I right or wrong? No, I don't, I don't, I don't teach my daughters that. My daughters shouldn't argue with no grown man like that. No. Nah. I taught my daughters to stand up for what's right. You ain't argue with no grown man. Call daddy. Let dad argue with the grown man. All right. Becky, what's good with you? So we're talking, if you're just coming on, we're talking about Clarissa Shields. All right versus Ivana um, Habison and what transpired at the weigh-in with Mr. John Ali Bashir getting knocked the fuck out for running his mouth. Um, Not good. I never said it was good, but I'm just saying we're talking about the code. We're talking about how we should conduct ourselves on a professional level. So you won't. All right, so I'm watching it now. Clarissa Shields just told Ali Bashir, like, yo, dude, get out of here with that chill. Like, not right now, man. And then she told her sister. Now, somebody's getting between both of them. They trying to do a weigh-in. And, and the other two are... You, you hear? Him? Sit your monkey ass down before you get slapped. You ain't no, you ain't no fucking man. You better stay in a woman's place. I'll slap your ass until tomorrow. Yo, if you're a 71 year old man, come on, bro. Regardless of what happened, you got to bring that down, man. You had a way in, bro. Come on, man. Come on. Anyway, let me know what y'all think, man. I see there's a few heated boxing fans on here. Janelle. Yo, why is it always the women always see my point? And the brothers, y'all just be bucking. Like, <laughs> come on, brothers. Come on, family. This dude is talking reckless, man. Come on, man. Come on. Y'all killing me. You out of bounds with that, man. If you talking like that, you... You either gonna be strapped, or you, or you better have somebody that can clear that room out, man. Cause, yeah, that's ugly, man.
Did y'all hear him? Acting like a man, I'll knock that bitch out. Wow, for real? And you a 71-year-old coach, you a trainer, and someone's putting their boxing career in your hands, talking like that. Come on, man. Come on. Nah. You right. He talking like he can handle anything. But some of the brothers on here, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand how y'all are built, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now the brother coming to whisper in his ear, yo, coach, chill, man. Just chill, man. All right, that, that's a fight right now that you're not gonna be able to win right now. All right, that's Clarissa Shields' sister, man. She's gay. But she got she a dyke, she a lesbian, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. The brother's telling him, like, yo, chill, just, yo, we got to make this fight happen. Chill, bro. Now, unbeknownst to Clarissa Shields, all of this is happening. She don't know because she's handling her business. She's getting weighed in. All right, now they're moving Clarissa Shield out to her dressing room. Then it cuts away to, now it cuts away to dude after he got knocked out. Yeah. So we don't really know what happened. Yeah, I know, I saw that, Omega. So Omega, now you need to tell that to our uh, old dude on it, Derek Bailey and my man, Elohim Beats. He been put his fist in the Clarissa Shields face and all kind of stuff. Yeah, I want to hear from the LBG, uh, LGBT community about this. This dude right here threatening uh, the LB, LGBT community. It's like, come on, man. Now, this is where Clarissa Shields' brother is running out of the place. Now, he's been standing there for goddamn 10 minutes already. Ain't nobody said nothing to him. Now, all of a sudden, y'all want to chase him. But at that point, no one knew that that was Clarissa Shields' brother. Especially Clarissa Shields. So the only thing I'm saying, fight hype. And these other people started talking about she had to know. Man, shut your ass up. How does she know? I'm just asking, how does she know? Y'all was already reporting that she knew. How does she know? See, what y'all try to do is make it seem like she set that up. So y'all need to chill with that. <laughs> And if nobody saw it, if they don't have footage of it, how do y'all know he was sucker punched? So let me give you let me, y'all peep game. Keep it G with me though. All right, keep it real G with me. When you talk that much shit, you should know the rules of the game. So there ain't no such thing as no sucker punch. That's first of all. At that point, with you threatening two or three people. Somebody stood between y'all. You went one way. You followed the chick. And you keep running your mouth. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. Come on, man. Y'all gonna make me take this damn phone off here and show y'all. Because 
Y'all killing me with these comments, man. Y'all are killing me. Y'all are killing me, man. Y'all are killing me, for real. Damn. Y'all are really killing me, for real. Gonna mess up my Sunday. Fight out, y'all dead ass wrong, man. So you understand what I'm saying now? I hope y'all do. Oops. Yeah, I, yeah, it's just. And you want to blame Carissa Shields? Not good. Not going for it. No. Carissa Shields, call me. 678-557-2919. Professor Griff. Thank you. I got you back. All right. For real. And if the fight ever gonna happen, yeah, dude just need to hire some security or stop talking shit or both. Plain and simple. All right, I can't stay on it much longer. I'm letting y'all know straight up, I'm riding with Clarissa Shields. Rest of y'all, I, I don't know what y'all doing, shit. Plain and simple. I would advise y'all to learn the code, learn the professional code. When you got a code switch and go to work and you know that code, Learn the code when you're in the street. Plain and simple. Plain and simple, man. Yeah, learn the code. I don't know what else to say to y'all. I'm not disrespecting. I'm not disrespecting anybody. Man, woman, child. Nah, I'm just not. Uh, because I know the code. All right. First of all, I respect for myself, and I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to respect people, plain and simple. I'm not going to be talking crazy to nobody's sister. 
All right, unless I'm willing to back it up, shit. Let's go. Look. But I don't do that. In the same breath, you're not going to be talking smack to my sister. My daughter, my wife, nobody. Especially on my watch while I'm around. We're not doing that, man. Uh-uh. Learn some respect. If you want to get treated like an elder instead of an older. All right, we good. All right. My hour is up, y'all. All right, shout out to Quan. All right, I don't know what happened to uh, I do know what happened. Shane Thug Life Shakur is home. All right. Uh, I know y'all ain't seen me on here on for a minute. I've been under the weather, like really under the weather, under under the weather. Yeah, I was supposed to shoot a video today for Famous. Had to cancel that. Had to cancel studio sessions and everything. I yeah, I had no voice. All right, but anyway, I'm black and um, see y'all tomorrow night right here on Serious Minds for Serious Minds. Seriously, man. All right, um. Get better, um, Errol Spence. All right. Shout out to Bud Crawford. All right. Shout out to everybody that follow boxing. All right. Um, who we got coming up? Anthony Joshua and uh, Andy Ruiz in Dubai. Um, Crawford is supposed to be fighting in December, I think. Joshua fighting in December. That might close the year out, man. Um, yeah, yo, it's critical, man. It's really critical. Anyway, I gotta get out of here. Love y'all to life, man. Soleil speaking in 15 minutes. All right, y'all got the fly? Y'all take the number down real quick. Hold on for a second. The phone number. Uh, let me see. The phone number is 319-527-2019. Y'all can listen live. All right. Sole's interview she's doing. All right. It starts in 15 minutes. Y'all come on. Let's make it happen. 319-527-2019. I got to get ready to go. All right. Love y'all to like, man. Serious minds. Serious minds. Seriously. Peace.